Josh, Coach talks about uh, how you have to be second day of a long journey, but still, how does it feel to be part of the uh, first ranked Maryland game since 2013? Um, this, I mean, it's obviously a very, uh, very good accomplishment, um, but, you know, being ranked this early in the season, how high you rank doesn't necessarily mean too much to you as a team. You just try to get better every day, like he was talking about. Um, it's very nice to be ranked, but um, obviously we want to continue to get better. Have you felt the buzz on campus? Uh, realizing this is your first year here, but even. Uh, but. I'm, I don't have any classes on campus, actually. Oh, really? Because <laughs> you're the grad student? <laughs> yeah, okay. so um, I'm mainly just in the building, so, but I'm sure there is a buzz going around. The talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C., Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301. 251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. You've been on other teams where there's been a number in front of the name. Uh, how best have those teams handled it? What, what's the key to keeping on track and on point? Uh, I'm trying to think. Like, I think usually I think we've got uh, at Virginia Tech we've got ranked in the teens or something like that and then actually we took a loss after it. So um, that's not something that I want to bring here, obviously, but it is not something that matters when you rank like that. It just means the target's now on your back, and um, nobody's going to take you lightly anymore or anything like that. So, and we don't expect that from anybody on our team, um, anybody on our schedule anymore. So, being that you're one of the handful of guys on this team that have, you know, been ranked that highly, I mean, do you talk to the young guys and? trying to tell them how to kind of keep it even keel? Like um, I think Coach Logs did a good job about that, um, just handling when, you know, people that, you know, maybe didn't think we were going to be as successful start talking and hyping you up and everything like that and things start to change. But you really just have to focus on who is in, like, um, who's on our team and, you know, just continue to get better every day because at the end of the day, whether it's good or bad, it can't affect you. At the Jack Litch Law Group, uh, not only will you feel like a member of their family, uh, you'll also receive uh, unprecedented customer service. We love our clients, and you'll see that if you trust us at the Jack Litch Law Group, the big dogs from the small firm, and we'll reward your trust. Call the big dogs today. Don't wait. Find us online at bigdogsmallfirm.com. How gratifying is it to see the, all the hard work you know, that you guys have put in, especially so many new pieces, um, you know, the get off to the 2-0 start and having all the success uh, so far? I mean, it's nice. It's definitely um, how you want to start your season, and hopefully we can continue this. Um, but we'll just continue to work as hard as we can so that we can have the opportunity to continue to win games and you know, play well. So. How, did you, how did you get this playbook in your head this fast? Uh, you didn't have as much time as, as most QBs do with their coach. Um, yeah, I had to I had to work at it uh, all summer and during camp and still now I have to work at it because none of it's really like when we bring new wrinkles that I really don't know it like I, I have to go back and study it and that have that's how I have to go about it like every new wrinkle I've never seen before and some of these guys maybe have or or haven't I just don't know from the spring what all they did so um, it's tough uh, I just gotta continue to focus and study and. Um, try to be the best I can. How much easier does it get as as you go with it, with the, especially the RPO type stuff where a lot of it's instinct? Mm -hmm. um, it gets easier just as more reps go, and I need to continue to get better at it. I'm still pretty slow, so I need to you know speed up my feet, speed up my reads, um, and kind of just trust it probably a little bit more. Um, just you know, uh, anticipatory throws, everything like that. So um, that's something I got to work on. Do you you got some backs that. There were times where you would line up backs as receivers, mm -hmm. two or three of them on the field at the same time. Yeah. How much does that help being able to kind of disguise personnel packages? I think it's, I mean, when we can put them all on the field, it's, it's pretty nice, and that just gives you uh, defensive trouble. Um, and when we put them out there, it's not like they're decoys. They can go run routes and catch passes and everything like that. So I think that just adds more um, more to your offense. So. What have you guys been talking about, you know, this week preparing for Temple? I know 
you know, since the team is coming.